in this movie, you uh, tear up quite a bit. And uh, as a comedian going into this, how do you prepare for, you know, such an emotional role? It's just all about putting yourself in the space. Um, what they do say about comedians is some comedians are the best dramatic actors. You got like examples, Robin Williams, you got you have Eddie Murphy, you have um, Jim Carrey. Um, there's a certain there's a certain pain that we have to have to be a comedian and to be able to translate uh, human emotion on stage. So uh, it was really just just going to the just going to that place, man, just being able to being able to live in it. And then those conversations with the ladies that I was having, um, <laughs> I've definitely had those conversations with other women in my life. So it was just taking that and living in those and 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 uh, and uh, 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 bouncing off with with my partner in the scene. And uh, you know, I think it came off pretty good. I, I don't know, maybe. <laughs> it did. It did, so. it did. Okay. <laughs> Sinkwai, you in in your role, you take off your shirt quite a bit. Yeah. Um, when you're is it different for you when you're preparing for kind of a heartthrob role? Is that in your mind when you're when you're preparing? Uh, I mean, from the physical aspect, yeah, you have to put more intensity to the work that you do to make sure that the muscles pop and the abs glisten. You know, so that that was definitely a part you know, of my mind. The character work is always the same. You play the character's intentions, their truth, their circumstances. But and a lot of baby oil. Baby the physical, oil. You get the baby oil, you get the cocoa butter, you know, you make sure that the chest is shaved. Um, and you make sure that you only eat boiled eggs, spinach, and uh, and uh, and uh, chicken breast. That's it. <laughs> uh, for both of you, well, Jay, we'll start. If you had to pick a song to serenade to your partner at your wedding, what would it be and why? Man, I haven't even. Uh, wow, wow. I I don't even. You know what's a great song though? John Legend's "All of Me." That's a great mm. song to sing to. Mm. Because at that moment, at that moment, you're giving them this is baby, this is me. You're taking me for my flaws. You're taking me for my for my good, the bad. It's just everything that is me. You're accepting me for it. And I'm doing the same for you. So all of me will probably be the perfect wedding song to sing. So wow. well, what about you? You know what? I'm gonna take take it, take it, take it back. Um, and I'm gonna throw it into like I wanna like where where Jay Farrell hails from the DMV. I'm gonna go with Drew Hill Beauty. That's amazing. Yeah, I'm mad. I'm mad I didn't say that. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Drew Hill. Yeah. Last quick question. Have either of you ever tasted $6,000 whiskey? <laughs> oh, oh, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> I was like, maybe. I don't know. Like, you know, I think it was, I was too, I was already too into the night to know. Right. <laughs> right. Look, I'm be honest with you. I don't know if I've had a 6,000 bottle of whiskey, but I've definitely had a 6,500 bottle of a Grey Goose in France. They knew they charged too much for it. It was too, they charged me way too much, but it was a, it was literally the size of Kevin Hart. Like it was, it was a five <laughs> foot two bottle of Grey Goose. So it was worth it. I couldn't drink it all. Everybody got drunk that night in the club. 